What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston here with Patrick Coben. Patrick, let us see this deck profile you did. Okay. Uh, it's pretty much the same deck I played in Toronto and in Indy. Um, I played Lightsworn Chadals. Uh, I had three Beast, one Hedgehog, two Skulmata, two Dragon, one Falco, two Chaos Sorcerer, um, BLS, three Raiden. I think the a lot of people think the artifacts are better now, but honestly, I still think these are really good. Like these cards apply a lot of pressure, and they give you access to the um, level eight synchros, which are just like the best synchros in the game. Um, which those work really well with the white and black dragons. Uh, and then I played two Lila as well for the last monsters. I almost cut this to one, which I don't know. I feel like a lot of the games I lost were because I had too many monsters in my hand. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I should have cut it to one, but every time I would try and cut it to one, which was a lot actually, I felt like I was losing to like emptiness more. So I ended up playing two. I'm not really sure which one was right. Uh, for the spells, one super poly, three upstarts, which I just found out isn't the dictionary. <laughs> uh, soul charge, allure, three fusion. Um, Chris was talking about polymerization. <laughs> uh, I, Honestly, this card fixes like the whole monster hand, so like it might not be a bad idea. Charge, book, um, two sinister shadow games. Explain that. Um, well, you just kind of run out of shadows really quickly. You only play nine, and if you play more, like it just makes your bad hands worse because your bad hands are the whole monster hands. So I don't want to play more, and then if I play three of these, it becomes dead as the game goes on. Like it's definitely a good first turn, but. And just like I don't want it as my eighth or ninth card or whatever. Um, so then I replaced uh, two soul charges with two burst of births, which this card's really good. What it does is you pay two thousand and you special a monster from your graveyard and face down the fence. So soul charge would give you a lot of auto wins where you just put up a really big field. This gives you a lot of the same auto wins where you send beast to the grave and then on their end phase you use burst of birth on beast and then you flip it. Uh, draw two and then discard one and usually it's a shadal so then that's like just a plus two so this card's actually just a blowout um then i played three vanities emptiness and compulsory for the extra deck i played two constructs i think it's going to be funny to see how many people thought about this because honestly there's actually just zero reason to play three with super polio one um, so I think it's going to be funny if people still play three. <laughs> but, uh, two windows. Leo, this card's good against Burning Abyss. Um, you could actually deck them out, um, a lot of the time. Explain. They only have one out to it. It's like Acid Golem Giga Brilliant. So attack over it. And then if you're sided, you can, uh, have the Storm Forth, because it doesn't target. But so game one, if you have an out to the Acid Golem Giga Brilliant, then uh, you can just summon this and never enter your battle phase, and then they can never get this off the field. Um, you also have to have a way to play around the Nightmare Sharks, uh, just going uh, attack for 2,000. So, like, it's kind of situational, but like, late game, it could definitely come up where they'll just have fewer cards in the deck and you can just summon this and literally win the game. Um, Scrap Dragon, Thought Ruler, this was the other card against Burning Abyss, this card's actually insane. Um, you just attack over and then Karma Cuts and Phoenix Wings will stop it. Um, Spark Dragon, Crimson Blader, Arcanite, I cut Black Rose, I just never summoned it, never missed it either, honestly. Um, Goyo, Giant Hand, uh, Castell, I played two of these in Toronto, but... Uh, with Soul Charger 1, you don't really make a second. Dweller, and then Volcosaurus. I'm interested to see the side deck everyone was talking about. <laughs> uh, the side deck, I played one Vanity's Fiend. I, I tried multiples, but Vanity's Fiend isn't really good by itself in the mirror. Like, I don't side it at all against Burning Abyss because they can just Karma Cut or Wing Blast it. But in the mirror, it's pretty good if you have another monster to go with it. Um, to apply pressure, but if you don't, it's not really just a standalone card, because if you summon it, they can just, they have shadow games to search dragon um, through hedgehog, or they can just straight draw Squamata, 
um, or they can just straight draw dragon, and they're all outs to this. So this card isn't, it's not a standalone, so it's not really a multiple card kind of thing, but it, it definitely does win um, when you could put another monster on the field with it. Um, then I also played three puppet plants. This is for the mirror. This card's actually really good in the mirror. Um, now, I always choose to go first, except when I'm playing a mirror, because then I put three puppet plants in, and then uh, whenever I'm playing against the Lightsworn version, if they summon Raiden first turn, and you have this in your hand, you can kill him on the first turn literally almost every single game. Um, so that's really good. It's, this card's also good against the other version as well, but it's just insane against the, Light, the Lightsworn version. Uh, I played three lands. This was just for Burning Abyss. Um, three Typhoon Regeki. Um, this card's this card's okay. It's not it's not a defensive card. It's not a combo card, so it doesn't advance where you're going. But I mean, like it's still got a really powerful effect, so it can be good. Um, it's more of a tempo based card, I guess, because one of the things that's kind of important about this is a lot of times you're hitting floaters, so they replace themselves. But that doesn't necessarily matter as much when tempo is more important, where you're getting rid of their field, and then you can put up a field that they have to deal with instead. So like, even if the cards replace themselves, <laughs> then uh, it's still not bad in that scenario. Oh, it's also a good out to emptiness. That was like the main reason I decided to um, put it in my side deck. And then mind control, just for the mirror. Honestly. I put this in my side deck, but then whenever I played a mirror, I would ask people if they wanted to just both keep out mind control, because this card's really degenerate in the mirror. Um, if they, like, whoever draws this is at such a huge advantage. It's kind of like return back from dragon format. I said the third shadow game for the mirror, and then two ceasefire for the mirror. Um, you lost on the bubble. Yep. That's not a After good that. feeling for you because no, I, we I, are <laughs> we was the world was introduced to Patrick Hoban and his bubble times. Yes, I uh, so before I ever topped really much of anything, I think I had like three or four tops. There was a solid two years where I would go to like every event and I would just consistently lose out on the last round. So Is it is it true to assume that I can get authorization to just remove you from the throne now since you're going to be back <laughs> on the bubble or what? Uh, everyone is everyone is is used to seeing you top and now we just see you on the I bubble miss like occasionally but I don't know hopefully it's not like a long thing. I think uh, like between nationals and here there were like three events in a row that I didn't top and then Toronto was the last event. I know there were two events at the end of last format and then I topped Toronto and then I topped the last one so I don't know. Hopefully it's not a trend. YCS California. Anaheim is coming up, rather. Mm -hmm. We do expect to see you there, but what deck? No. Just, just, let's just give a guess. What deck do you think will be good? All right, well, I honestly don't know what the, the Pendulum deck does, but I'm sure, like, summoning a bunch of monsters is obviously really good, so that seems really good. And then the Burning Abyss cards are really good, too. I actually do know what the Burning Abyss cards do, and I feel like the main problem with Burning Abyss right now is they don't really have a win condition. I feel like summoning Dante attack and then hope to draw a trap card every turn is really a reliable win condition. But I feel like the new card, the tuner and the synchro are actually given a win condition. So I think that deck gets significantly better. Um, gotcha. Alright. Thank you, Pat. You already know. If it's not pro, we got to go. Doses.